Welcome. Hey there, friends. Gotta wait. What? Hey, you don't forget about me and your memory. That these titles are getting really, really long now. <laughs> yeah, it, comes and goes, but it truly does, though. Is that so? In that magical time at the lake, we thought summer what? would last forever. And in Excuse some ways, me? Oh? I mean, won't you? Aww. The, the fan strippers are going crazy in their journals right there. It's like, official, official confirmation right there. But, okay, the, won't they see each other back at the tower, though? It's like, ah, yes, that one summer. Then we went back to the tower and continued our goofiness, you know? But that is sweet. Wait, wait what? Excuse me? Oh my goodness! Oh. I am not dead, and summer is Wow! You know what that means? Oh yeah, Labor Day, baby! Yeah. Wait, who is happy about Labor Day? That's that's me. That's in September, but. Oh, hold on. Labor Day weekend, though? That's a three-day weekend right there, so I can see the excitement about that. But also, I love the suddenness of like, oh yeah, but when Robin died, I'm like, <laughs> And also the kiss that we did not get. We got kiss blocked by Robin. Robin kiss blocked us. No, it's oh. time to go back to school! Back to school? Excuse me? Aren't you they heroes? That's where you adopt the Aww. identity that will define you for the rest of your life. So, hold on. This reminds me of the Yearbook Madness episode with the Teen Titans making a yearbook and everything. You know, like how school's doing. So, are we doing another school episode? But if Robin is so crazy about... Oh boy, it's gonna be a Robin crazy episode, isn't it? And Crane kick your karate <laughs> rival from the evil dojo while falling in love with Elizabeth Shue. Dude, Elizabeth who? Teenagers with no parents. We can do whatever we want anytime. Oh yeah. Why would we give that up? Because our Wait, what? unique personalities that have never been previously depicted in film or media are what? perfect for a school environment. Is he saying that these guys never had any personality from the comics or whatever? Basically making fun I I don't know if he's making fun of the comics or making fun of the fans saying that the characters in Teen Titans Go don't have any personality whatsoever, but wow. Star, with your good looks and friendly attitude, yeah. You're the homecoming queen, cyborg. I mean, I can see that. Shoulders and bulging muscles. You're obviously a jock. <laughs> He's a Chad. Refusal to play along in <laughs> deep-seated anger. You're clearly a basket case. Oh. You. You're a nerd. Wait, huh, wait really? put him through the I thing. More like a bohemian. Bohemian? Sure, school isn't about what you feel on the inside. It's about dressing up the outside so everyone knows who you are by looks alone. Oh, but I thought we went through the episode that looks don't matter, am I right? That's before everybody started puking when they saw Beast Boy's frosted tips, am I right? But, my goodness. Schools and cliches. You're in school, what cliche are you? Are you a jock, a nerd? Are you are you a music geek? What are ya? I I really do not get schools and roles basically. Like at school, you're supposed to play a role whether you're a geek or a popular person. Which one are you? So, who are you? Oh, well, obviously I'm the all-American boy next door. Why is he dressed the up guy like Fred? Up to bullies, the guy who was elected student body president. Oh. with me. If going to school means being a wow. label, we're not interested. Good. That's good, though. But Robin always sees himself like the popular guy. Remember the yearbook episode? He wants to be in every single page, but he was only on one page. Now, this time, he's the old American, like, he's the old American perfect boy, and he looks like Fred from Scooby-Doo. I'll buy you all new clothes. We're going oh. <laughs> Jump City High School? <laughs> oh. Whoa. Hold on there. Hold on there. Raven looking 
mad cozy right there. Beast Boy is the nerd, Starfy is the homecoming queen, and Cyborg the jock. Everybody's looking good though, to be honest. Friends, I feel this is the beginning of a meaningful life experience. There's Thank so you, Starfire. It's strange. <laughs> it makes me want to learn and grow as a person. Oh. Too optimistic, basket case. Stick to your label. Optimistic. We need to be on the lookout for a bully, so this all-American boy can take him down. Oh. Actually, I gotta get to English class, Robin. Me too. I'll come with, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh wait. You two cannot hang out. Oh, it's the roles. The nerds and the jocks can't really hang out because that's how cliches work, I guess. Robin is really trying to be like. This is a stereotypical school experience that he watches on Disney Channel or something. Has anyone seen like those Disney Channel sitcoms where literally it's like, oh, we, the, the popular girl doesn't like us because we're nerds. And she comes up to our face chewing gum, doing the lip bite and walking away. Like, the big old cliche of like the nerds and the jocks cannot hang out. But why not? They are the best of friends. What about their labels? Look at this massive jock. He's massive. Got his, his big muscles and handsome face. Robin? No way be friends with nerd. Just look at him. He's so small and awkward, always studying, Dang. talking about wizards and dragons all the time. Wizards? <laughs> can break down social boundaries, nerd. Oh my goodness, poor Beast Boy. Oh no. There's Robin gonna beat him up again. Poor Beast Boy. He's always getting beaten, beaten up by Robin mostly. But... I do love that Beast Boy, who is considered the dumbest of the group, is the nerd, supposedly the smartest of the group, you know? Oh. Uh, principal. Oh. Wait, they all got the tin. What? Minutes, and you already got us into tension. <laughs> That's well, so Robin's become the bully, but what is this? One of those zero tolerance schools where literally if you're if one person in a group hits somebody, the whole group gets in trouble. Wait, this is a zero tolerance school because Beast Boy got beaten up, but he's also in detention. That's messed up. <laughs> No regrets. That's just the way of the all-American boy. All-American all boy. boy. More like crazy crane-kicking guy. Thank you, Raven. I'm still unsure who exactly <laughs> was the bully in that situation. <laughs> what, you didn't see this nerd trying to bully his way into hanging out with this cool jock? Why do you care about labels so much? Maybe there's more to us than what's on the surface, bro. Thank you, Beast Boy. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh, boy. We have parts to play. And now that I trashed a bully, my next part is to become student body president. So five minutes in and already in detention and he wants to be student body president. While well, Beast Boy is actually spitting facts over here. Beast Boy, actually, Beast Boy being a nerd actually is making him smarter. It's actually working out. Let everybody play what they want to be, Robin. Oh boy. I love how there's all these random students, but we're not going to see any of them, right? Oh, wait, what team? Oh. Article in the school paper star. Turns out I love writing. Oh, feelings that I keep bottled up. Oh my goodness, Raven is adorable though. The school, like the school, is actually helping them find out more about themselves. These boys in an academical decathlon over here, and just a few episodes ago, nobody know, nobody knew how to say the word metamorphosis. They kept saying metamorphic about eyes, but everybody's happy with each other. This is like the optimal group where everybody oh my like the jock and the nerd the basket case and the homecoming queen are hanging out like that is an optimal group right there because nobody cares about their labels they're friends we're learning so much about ourselves <laughs> school is the place to be oh oh wow he is he is as pale as whiteout. Wow. But 
that it's, it's I mean that's one way to get attention, but Robin has completely go one off the 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 deep the deep end because isn't that just indecent exposure pretty much? Like he could just end up in so much trouble for that. Can you get you can get expelled for that, can you? Oh no, he must think he is having one of the naked in school dreams. <laughs> Wait. Aren't people usually terrified when they have that dream? No, Robin, I bet. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. Probably just thinks he'll wake up any second. You think? Now that's how you run for office. By showing your butt? Dude, you are naked in school. Yeah, that you shouldn't be doing that. That is pretty much illegal, Robin. Why are you doing that? If I'm... Yeah, he, yeah, this is a Robin has gone crazy episode while everybody else is growing. But to go along with what Beast Boy said that school is the, the place to be, I say it depends which school you go to and if you can make friends that will change your life, you know? My school experience wasn't the best. I think it got better during high school, like my elementary and junior high school experiences were the worst. High school, it got a bit better. Mostly because I was the shy one and people came up to me and I became friends with them. So it's like, it, it varies person to person. There are people who really do not like school, but depending on how you do it, school can be the place to be. But for others, it could be like the worst experience ever. How was your school experience? Do let me know. I know. Oh. And this is not a dream. I know. Yep, the he's gone nuts. No choice but to vote for the best student body. Ugh, get that body out of here. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, nerd? Oh. Try laughing at this. No. Oh, Beast Boy. Beast Boy. Oh. No. You're kidding me. Freaking zero tolerance schools. Ah. I haven't been in a zero tolerance school myself, but I've heard many stories and, you know, others who have told me about their experiences with it. And yeah, if you're if you're even involved in a fight, you both get in trouble. You both can get detention, even if you are detention expelled or suspended for even being involved in a fight. Even if you're the one getting beat up, guess what? You're in trouble, too. I do. From being class president. You're missing the point of school, Robin. It's not about labels. It's about learning who you are and finding your place in the world. Exactly. Oh, the blushing. I have one chance left at being the all American. Oh boy, what is it gonna be this time? No matter what it takes. So they've only been in here for like what the day? Like just a day? Like I'm pretty sure a day hasn't even passed yet. And good luck being valedictorian. Valed valedictorian. Well, Raven blushing every time is really cute. It's like she is actually opening up her feelings. Which yeah, that's nice. The freaking oh my goodness! Not the comic sans. The 90s. This is so. Oh, uh, this is so 90s. But let's see how he does, though. Oh boy. I really studied hard. No games, no scams, just honest effort. I think, no, I know it paid off. But I wonder what's gonna happen, though. But. I really do love that old school montage though with the old graphics, the comic sans and everything, Microsoft clip art looking stuff, but something tells me it won't pay off. But look at look at look at the others though. The others look like they are just look at look at them. That they look amazingly great with each other. Like Starfire is cute, Raven is adorable, Cyborg looks awesome. He's wearing them good kicks right there. We all are. Oh. Yo, guys, the valet Victorian The valet Victorian? <laughs> you read the list. I'm valedictorian. No, dude. You're salutatorian. Oh, number two. Salutatorian. 
You ranked second in the class. Oh, let me go back a bit. I just wanted to see the uh, the other names that were shown. I want to know who made Valedictorian. Valedictorian. No, dude. You're some yeah. Oh, we don't see who Valedictorian is, but Barbara got third honors and Jamie Reyes got fourth honors right there. Also, I'm, it's funny that Robin doesn't have a last name. Imagine signing up for school and just putting down Robin. That's it. <laughs> what? Salutatorian. You ranked second in the class. That's still very second. good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. And Beast Boy is the Valedictorian. What? You can't hard if you just put all your brains on it. You're the Valedictorian, baby! Valedict <laughs> Are you telling me? The guy who says Valetorian is number one in the school? And the way they can't pronounce Valetorian. <laughs> Great job, Beast Boy. No! Oh. I was supposed to be number one! Oh. Oh, the teeth grunt. Oh. Beating up everybody? Even. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Is he just naming like old like lines from old school movies or whatever? Because he did like some from the Karate Kid and whatnot. The, where did the bike come from? And receipt like. Robin is a nut, but I'm pretty sure they're all going to detention once again, aren't they? The freaking principal. Ex oh, they got expelled! Thanks for getting us expelled, dude. Dang! We shall never learn of our true potential now. You guys were right. I was wrong to assign us those labels. I am glad Finally, to he's learned something. To describe the complexity of a person with a simple label. What? No, I just had the labels wrong. Uh, I'm actually the bad boy with the trouble. Oh the my goodness. The labels were wrong. Robin was never in the wrong. It was actually just the way things were going. Everybody else and everything else is wrong except Robin, of course. But man. Imagine becoming validator validatorian in one day and getting expelled the same day. That that must have been crazy going through the whole school year in one day. That's like going through the the time chamber in Dragon Ball Z, going through an entire school year in one day. That that's nuts. And these fists are my only companions. Now, yeah. Yeah, principal. Ow! What? Out loud, nerd. Dear Poor principal, Beast Boy. the fact that we were expelled for crane kicking everyone. We? we you're insane to make us send you a letter about We, we were expelled? Are. When did the principal ask us to write a letter? <laughs> Keep reading or you're totaled, man. <laughs> well, like, just please. At the point when Robin crane, crane kicked Raven, Raven should have easily just destroyed him right there and then. Easily, Robin should have gotten his comeuppance right there. But everybody got expelled because of him. But are they seriously doing a Breakfast Club ending? From the movie Breakfast Club where, you know, the letter to the principal is read out loud and then they're all like, well, I'm this and I'm that and I'm this. Totally. 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 Each of us can be described with the simplest label. Yeah. A green guy who can turn into animals. <laughs> a cyborg. A cyborg! <laughs> Super cool bad boy. Yeah. Answer your question. Sincerely yours, the Teen Titans. The, wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, it's Robin's thing. Gotcha. So Robin gets his own little like ending intro thing over here after that breakfast. The, this this episode is full of old school movie references, isn't it? Lightning, on but hold on though. This is so cool. <laughs> Ah. 
Okay, this is really neat. Even though Robin is the bully, the antagonist of this episode, he does get the bop ending, though, and that's why... Oh, my goodness. Robin didn't turn out as cra- Well, he did turn out crazy, but I don't know which one he ended up being crazier in. The yearbook episode or this episode? Which episode was he crazier in? Oh... That was neat, though. That was very neat. Very, very funny episode where literally everybody is supposed to play a role, but literally the point of school is to find out more about yourself, not to play a role. Your role, well, your role is to figure out what you want to do in life, not just to be stuck as a homecoming queen or nerd your whole life, I guess. But even though they were given the roles that Robin gave them, they were doing it pretty well, although there wasn't a homecoming dance or anything, so I don't know if Starfire played her role well. She was supposed to be the popular one, but she was hanging around with the others. Beast Boy becoming a nerd and becoming valedictorian, that was a crazy twist right there. Him becoming a nerd actually made him smarter, even though he was mispronouncing things here and there. Either that or the school is just really bad at teaching kids. Cyborg is a jock, another popular guy, but he was hanging out with the others. Raven being a basket case, but she's knowing more about her feet about she's knowing more about herself and her feelings, which is good. She's opening up and her blushing every time is really adorable. But then because of Robin, he ruined everything. Even though going back to school and doing all of this is his idea, he sabotaged himself. This whole episode was a self-sabotage. And in the end, he doesn't even, yeah, he doesn't even say that he's wrong. He says that everything else is wrong but him. He's the bad guy. But this episode was great. Hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment about what you think, and subscribe if you didn't do so. I'll catch you next time.